it is notorious that the modular construction movement is gaining more and more space within the fields of civil engineering, architecture, urbanism, and even the internet. In recent years, several companies have come to see this method as a much faster, more effective, and economical solution to various problems in their daily lives. Thus, the process of democratization of this technique was gaining space, mainly within the construction sites of large companies. However, this is by no means the only utility of modular construction. Nowadays, for example, it's already possible to find buildings, train stations, hospitals, websites, and even applications made using this technique. All the success has several reasons. Among them, the ones that stand out the most are the speed, economy, versatility, and sustainability. With so many positive points like this, it's not a question that this technology has gained enough strength and expanded rapidly to various sectors of the market. Being present now also in the blockchain industry, through Knowles, which was the first and only cryptocurrency to insert this type of concept in its technology, providing this market full access to those facilities. I'm Gabriel, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Although cryptocurrencies have gained a lot of prominence in recent years, they are increasingly present in people's daily lives and their investments. When we talk about blockchain and cryptocurrencies, whatever design or protocol used, it is still quite common to come to mind the disorders, difficulties and complications that blockchain can bring. After all, there are still countless problems to be solved, such as spending on high network rates, scalability, low performance, difficulties in implementing changes and improvements, developer shortages, and especially the high cost of development caused by a very expensive and very scarce workforce. All this directly affects the budget, whether they want it or not, and end up harming and often making the adoption of this technology impossible. In the blockchain industry, one of the major challenges to be faced is to propose alternatives to solve the problem of the high cost of labor a circumstance that unfolds in budget expenses and has been a much discussed issue among several projects, developers and investors who seek in one way or another to eliminate or at least minimize these expenses. And it was exactly because of this need that Knowles emerged with this modular architecture. Through this new concept of blockchain brought by Knowles, everything has now become much more modern, flexible, fast, dynamic and much simpler to use. In other words, it is as if there was an old car rusty and with many difficulties of locomotion. However, at some point, the same car goes through a process of tuning, where some of its old parts have been replaced by new ones, such as wheels, paint, engine, and so on. Now the same car they used to hardly drive, it's totally renovated, and it's still possible to make future modifications and improve even more. After this analogy, I believe it became very easy to understand and explain that this is exactly how nose works not literally as a car, but rather as a tuned and customizable blockchain, where several parts can be modified in order to bring better performance or perhaps better usability. This freedom that the user gains is superior to existing projects of the market, which, due to its network limitations, combined with a very complex architecture and difficulty of access, end up making it possible for any type of change to be made. And as much as this project has a new technology, and as incredible as it may seem, inevitably, it may become obsolete at some point in the future. After all, technology is constantly evolving. Even you at home, who's watching this video through your next generation phone, will probably have to change it in a few years, because it may become obsolete or no longer meet the requirements of current applications. In this sense, the great advantage of Knowles is precisely in its architecture of modular character. This means, for example, that even in the near future, if a new technology is created, which is able to solve current problems, can easily, without many difficulties, be implemented in Nulls through plug-in play modules, which in turn can be removed and replaced according to the needs of the user. In Nulls, each module works independently, so the removal of a module, as well as the replacement of a module, does not affect in any way the operation of others besides ensuring, of course, full compatibility between multi-language modules. Although the blockchain for some 
seems something full of codes with super complex commands and restricted to programmers with years of practice. And the truth is that to dominate the area, it takes a lot of study and specialization. However, using the Knowles technologies, all this becomes much simpler and easier. The reason behind this is his own architecture, where more complex issues such as encryption, consensus mechanisms, and storage methods have already been attached within those modules, allowing less experienced developers or users with no programming experience to create commercial applications or develop their own blockchain independently. The technological revolution coming from the Knowles modular architecture is the answer of the current search for ways to use a modern blockchain, safe, agile, ecological, and that mainly reduces cost, bringing economical savings. In short, Modular architecture has become an essential part of redesigning the future of the blockchain industry, either by presenting greater agility, reducing energy use, lower labor costs, or enabling more functional and versatile solutions. Knowles already fulfills its promise by presenting itself as a satisfactory substitute, capable of being more efficient, productive, and innovative in the face of the old and outdated conventional blockchains and the recurring problems. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your time, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and comment down below. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel and activate the notifications to be warned about the next videos. See you on the next one.